Hello everyone. Today we'll have a look at reports and dashboards in Siloxis. Now let's see what's so special about our reports. All the data in the reports is in real time. It's accurate time phase data. I'll explain this later. But in most other tools, the data that you see in the reports is wrong. So this is something to watch out during your evaluation of other tools. Custom fields in filters, grouping, and charts. This even includes your formula fields. Multiple visualizations, auto clickable charts. Our charts automatically become clickable when there is data to be shown. Our reports are secure. What this means is that if you accidentally share a report or include a sensitive column in the report with someone, they will only see the data if they have the requisite permissions. You can share your reports with your clients. Our reports are extremely customizable and flexible. And finally, you can also set up a delivery schedule. We'll deliver a nice PDF to your inbox. Let's now have a look at a few reports, and then we'll also create our own. We'll see some popular reports. I've favorited all the reports to be shown so that they appear as shortcuts here in the main menu. Let's start with something simple. This is a tabular report. It shows the budget and the cost data for projects which are grouped by project manager. You can see the budget, the actual cost and the projected cost for each project and also for the project manager group. Another report is the projects group by portfolio and type. This also is a tabular report. It shows interesting data about projects that are grouped first by portfolio and then by type. You can see the totals for each group and lastly also the grand total in the end. Another report would be the monthly cost by category. This is a stacked bar report that shows you the cost incurred by month. In each bar, you can see the further breakdown by type. For example, in the month of May, you can see that the travel cost was $13,000, supplies were worth $150,000, meals were $95,000 and lastly the labor cost was $299,000. At the bottom, you can also see the categories and their individual totals. This chart along with all the others that I will show you have been created from the application. They are not hard coded like in other tools. Next, let's have a look at this report. Here you can see how you can build your own S curves. This is the popular cost S curve. The purple line is the S curve of the plan cost while the green line is the S curve for the actual cost. Also, in each month, you can also see the plan versus the actual cost represented by these blue and yellow bars. Another report is the burn down type. This is a popular burn down chart that you see in Agile tools. You can also create other types of burn down charts, for example, a budget burn down chart. Let's now create a sample report. We'll create this pie chart which shows the health of tasks by priority in projects that are managed by me. Let's first go to the report screen. Click on this add button and select the task category because we want to report on tasks. Let's give the report a name. Now let's set the filters. We only want to see the tasks that are in progress. So let's pick that. And we also want to see only the tasks that I manage. So let's pick the manager filter and select running user. Running user means the person who is running the report. This way, if another manager uses the same report, he would only see tasks in their projects. These are dynamic filters and they help you avoid the duplication of reports. This checkbox indicates whether the end user can modify the filters. For now, let's not do anything and 
and move on to output. We'll select chart. We see that pie has already been selected. Each slice would represent priority. So let's select that. And the next, we need to indicate the size of each slice to be computed. In our case, it is going to be the number of tasks. However, you could also have more complex options like totals and average. Let's save this. So there we have it. Each slice is also clickable. Later in the demo, we'll also see how to add this report to the dashboard. Let's now have a look at a few real world dashboards that we have built for our customers. But before that, what's so special about our dashboards? You can create reports and put it on your dashboard. A user can have multiple dashboards. You can share the reports with other users and if you permit, users can also create their own dashboards. The dashboard layouts that you see are fully customizable. All the dashboards are actionable, which means you can perform actions right from your dashboard as we've seen earlier. And when you print a dashboard to PDF, it appears exactly as you see in your browser. You can also schedule a PDF copy of dashboards to be delivered to your users by email. Let's now have a look at a few dashboards. All the dashboards that you see during the demo are fully customizable. None of them have been hard coded. Now this is a portfolio manager's dashboard. Here you can see some interesting metrics about projects in this person's portfolio, like the total number of projects, the overall budget, resource utilization, which is low, and the billing efficiency, which seems good. Here you can see the project health for each of the projects. In this chart, we see the plan versus the actual progress. It looks like they started up slowly, later meeting with expectations, and lastly slacking again since then. We also see some bubble charts about this portfolio. Let's move on to show another dashboard. This is a revenue dashboard. You can see things like the margin, profit, and also the unbilled revenue. Now you can also see the revenue by customer in the form of bar chart and here in the form of a pie chart. Down here, we see the breakup of revenue and profits by each manager. In this report, you can see the billing efficiency by manager. Down here, you can see the billable utilization of resources. It's pretty low of an average around 44%. And lastly, this pie chart shows where the money is coming from. Another dashboard is the weekly status report. This is a popular dashboard used by top management consulting companies. This here is a PPM roadmap. It is a Gantt view showing timelines as these bars and milestones as these diamonds for each project. An empty diamond like this means the milestone is still not achieved, while a filled one like this means it is done. This is today's line. Using this, you can visually see what's going on with each project. Let's go to the next widget. This shows the weekly submissions by all the project managers. You can see a report submitted by each manager for each project. You can also create your own project dashboards. Let's go to a project. Here we have created the dashboard tab. The dashboard data will be for this project. Let's have a look at a few dashboard customizations. You can set filters that will apply to all widgets in this dashboard. For example, Selecting a client from here would show you the data only for that client in all the widgets. You can also resize the widgets here. Let's add a report that we created earlier. 
you can see how it automatically fits in nicely. So this was all about dashboard customizations, reports and dashboards in Siloxis. Thank you.